Hello everybody, this is Tiffany Bassett and here is a picture of my little girl. She is doing well, everybody's doing well and she is such a blessing to have and she sleeps really good during the night and you know everybody's healthy. My presentation is for strategy 15. Visual spatial relationships called back in shape. And my problem, maybe you've read it already, but I'm going to go over some key parts of it. On the, this is Jody and she wants to get back in shape. So on the first day, she dug and moved half a wheelbarrow full. On the second day, she moved a third of a wheelbarrow full and then two thirds of a wheelbarrow full. Third day, she dug and moved by fourths. She moved a fourth as a warm up, then two thirds, three or two fourths, then three fourths as her exercise. On the fourth day, she dug and moved a fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. And she did this for a total of 47 days. So the question is how many wheelbarrow loads of dirt did she dig and move in that time? But first, the teaks and grade level. Sixth grade math is what I found. The some things to be able to solve this problem for sixth graders. The student needs to apply mathematical process standards to compare two rules verbally, verbally, numerically, graphically, and symbolically in the form of y equals a times x or y equals x plus a Ma and they need to mathematic use mathematical process standards to use equations to write one variable one step equations to represent constraints or conditions within problems they the student is expected to write corresponding real world problems giving a one variable one step equation The student needs to apply mathematical process standards to solve problems to determine if the given values makes the, va the variable true. All right, so how did Jody get in shape? First day, this is kind of a review. She moved half a wheelbarrow. Second day, she moved a third a wheelbarrow, then two thirds. Back and forth. Third day, she moved a fourth a wheelbarrow, two fourths a wheelbarrow, and three fourths a wheelbarrow. Back, back, and forth. And last fourth day, a fifth a wheelbarrow, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. And this one goes fast. Bam, bam, bam. And she did this for 47 days. So, how do we solve this? How many wheelbarrow loads of dirt did she move? Well, I found the pattern, which was y equals one half x, x in days, y is the amount of dirt. So substituting one in for x multiplied by one half gives you one half. Well, substituting the two, you get a one. Substituting three days, you get one and a half. Four days, you get two. And the answer after substituting the 47 days, you get 23 and a half wheelbarrow loads full. I did work this a little bit differently on a paper. I, I added all of the fractions together to get the answer. So when we added so one third plus two thirds, you get one whole. When you add one fourth plus two fourths plus three fourths, you get you get one and a half, so on and so forth. So there are some alternate strategies. We can draw a dry diagram. We can look for a pattern. We could eliminate possibilities. We could create a physical representation, which I like this one because you can use the students physically moving water or sand one by one filling a container back and forth just as Jody did 
and make the con and mark the container to see how it fills up and measuring the increments as well as convert to algebra which is kind of what i did and thank you so much for listening to my presentation